Next, you will be asked to modify further part, usually by creating some cuts, some cut features, and then adding additional fillets and chamfers, and adding additional recess features. So let's see how can we cut these bosses into a two. Well, we need to create the outline of what we are going to cut. In this case, as per book, we will sketch on a front plane. So we will place a sketch on a front plane. Look normal to it. And we are going to make the two rectangles like rectangle here, rectangle here. And now what we are going to do, we are going to make them to be a collinear with the edge. So pre left button press on the line, press shift and press the edge. And then option collinear. And likewise, we will select this. Uh, likewise, we will select this edge here this edge here and make them collinear. Now all what we need to do is to specify the vertical dimension. From the bottom, be careful it's not from the fillet, it's from the bottom. 1.25 and then the itself the recess is the 1.25 And likewise, we will do the same with this one here. And the order of operation here is not that important. So we can put the vertical one. So let's make the smart dimension vertical dimension from here to here, 1.5. And then from here to here, 2.0. Now, what we need to do, we are going to select a shift of this. And we are going to choose the, the edge. And we will make them again collinear. And likewise, we will do this with the outside edge here, uh, with the outside edge here. So we choose this edge and then we need to choose the outer edge and we will select collinear. What will fully define the sketch? So we have fully defined the sketch. Now we are going to extrude the two contours of this sketch and it will be an extruded with a true cut, extrude cut. It will be a, from a sketch plane. It will be through all both. And for direction one, select through all both. And through for the direction two, we will select through all. And we will click OK. And look what has happened now. We have created this second feature and now we will create the fillets and chamfers, additional fillets and chamfers and this time we will change the fillet parameters 0 0.093 as per drawing in a book or as per drawing and the items that you want to fillet are the transitions, what means that we will choose this edge here, we will choose this edge here, we will choose this edge here, 
and we will choose the this edge we will choose the edge also here there should be a total of four edges chosen click ok and now the inner should be chamfered so that's under the fillet you will click a chamfer and the dimension of the chamfer the angle will be a 45 but dimension is 80 thousandths of the inch and now you will choose this here we will choose here edge we will choose circular edge here it will be a total of eight edges circular edge here let's see how many we have let's see that's the one two three four all right so now edge here edge here edge here and edge here so sometimes we need to break this into n2 so let's see if we go back to the chamfer and the distance for a chamfer 0 0.08 Maybe we do like in the sets of the two or sets of the four. Let's click this two. This works. So then we will place an additional chamfer for the top edges. This edge here and this edge here. And additional chamfer let's see if we can get all four it should not be a face it should be an edge one two three and four let's see if it will act. yes it does and here we have the final piece for the next for the question like four or five in the next questions you will add additional recess features and then you will add the circular bosses and counter bosses